Hello again, everyone. Konia is here. Today I'm flying from Baton Rouge, Louisiana to New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I've set a flight level of 2200 feet. Let's go ahead and get started. Parking brake off. Just about to say, it seems like a calm day, but then we got a little bit of gust of wind there. Alright, let's go ahead and lift off. We're already going in generally the right direction. Landing gear up. Flaps up. Continue for east departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Ryan Tower KH three five seven. Continue for east departure. All right, I'm going to turn on autopilot for navigation. Yaw damper. And flight level change, get us to the altitude we want. Okay, I'm going a little bit heavy on the throttle. Alright, so I think I think autopilot has everything under control. Just wanna go out and take a look outside for a minute. Much prettier day than the last time I flew, where it was raining and overcast. I couldn't really see very much. Looks like a lot of housing here, I guess. Ryan Tower KH357 frequency change. I'm gonna go exploring with the drone. Baton Rouge approach KH357 is Type Beechcraft King Air 5 miles southeast of Ryan 2100. Okay, I would like to check out some of this stuff down here. Maybe this is a school of some kind. Squawk 5576KH357. So this is somewhere, <coughs> somewhere in Louisiana, between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Not sure exactly what city we're in. Through the Charlie Airspace KH Maybe it's still bad uh, Sounds very windy. I guess it's not too much of a surprise. Getting some nice reflections off of these waterways. This is interesting. This looks very densely populated here. Like the buildings are unusually tiny or something. Just a whole bunch of identical houses, I guess. Alright, let's head back to the plane. And go to the external view and check on things. We're going a little bit fast. Pull the back of the throttle. We are at altitude. I didn't hear the usual overspeed warning. Maybe it only happens when you get past a certain speed. Um, I think I was still below 260, so it's probably not too bad. I do have engine damage turned on. I've never managed to actually damage an engine as far as I can tell. I 
I suppose the airspeed safety thing is not only about the engine, but maybe about the plane in general and being able to remain stable and all that kind of stuff. So it's a very flat area, it looks very populated. I don't see a lot of agriculture, a little bit. I'm not sure what the industry is in this area. I wonder if some of these kind of mini forests are actually vineyards. New Orleans approach KH357 is type Beechcraft King Air 4 miles east of 6 Lima altitude. Request Fascinated by all the waterways. Reset the view, go back inside. Squawk 4212 KH357. Let's get to the outside cockpit view. Altimeter tree, near a Copy KH357. So it's quieter in here, not quite as pretty. We're flying over some kind of agricultural stuff here. See some cars down there. be headed over to a body of water. Let's see. Let's pull up the VFR map. Take a look at that. Okay, we'll be going kind of past it, and then New Orleans will be right here in this area. Oh, it looks very uh, low to sea level. to see these bodies of water with the drone. Let's reset the view. Water looks nice. That's 
That's a nice view. Airshuttle 6187 New Orleans departure continue as planned. Altimeter 30 decimal 05. New Orleans approach KH-357. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Okay, I am going to go back inside, reset the, reset the barometer, oh we were way off on the barometer. And let's turn off autopilot. I'll take over, I'm going to start slowing down, let's pull back on the throttle. Altitude's okay at the moment. So I'm going to try not to drop too much because we'll need it to get into the landing pattern. What do you need to gradually slow down? Landing gear. Landing gear. Yep, that'll help. Okay, so I'm heading down in speed to where that white line starts on the speed ticker tape. And then I can put the flap put the flaps down at that point. I like to put the flaps down in two stages, halfway and then full. I don't know how important that is, but it feels like it's a little less stressful on the plane. Very pretty body of water out here. One two six decimal three five. New Orleans Tower KH three five seven. Did we one, one miles step on their transmission? Like kind of sounds like it. Okay, so we're dropping an altitude. That's my fault. Let me pick back up, and that will also drop some speed for us. <coughs> Make straight in runway 11 KH357. Don't know exactly where the landing pattern is. Looks like it's over there. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I think we can put the flaps down partway. And I'm going to turn and make my way over in that direction. some more throttle because we've got the flaps down but I do need to get a little bit of altitude for a safety margin. Okay, I think that's good enough. As soon as I make the turn and get stable, I'll put the flaps down all the way. It's really pretty out there with all the water and amongst all the land, all the little tiny waterways. Okay, so we'll make our turn. That will burn off a little bit of speed. Of course, we're descending, so that's going to speed us up. KH357, clear to land runway 11, 1280 at 27. Okay, flaps down all the way. Clear to land runway 11KH357. We are going way too fast, so I'm hoping I can drop speed. Maybe if I do a little bit of excess turning, I can turn off or burn off some of the speed. So we're at a good speed now. I've got the throttle all the way down. I'm going to bring it up a bit because we're going to start dropping in speed. Don't want to drop out of the air. Okay, 
bit more throttle. Back on the throttle. Just trying to watch my speed, keep it in the white area there. Give it just a little bit more. Get us over the hump here. Alright, we're not straight onto the runway. I'm having that problem lately. But I think we're okay altitude-wise. Let's go ahead and just hover as long as we can here. Hover, hover, hover. Alright, rear wheels, front wheel, and brakes. And if I can slow down enough, we can turn here. No, I can't, couldn't slow down enough for that. So we'll do this while taxiing ground. All right, I think we can turn here. Request taxi to parking. New Orleans ground KH three five seven. Request taxi to parking. KH three five seven. Taxi to General Aviation parking by a taxiway cross runway two nine or Delta. All right, looks like we turned taxi the right way. Taxi to That's General good. Aviation parking via taxiway cross runway 29 or Delta KH357. Okay, so I think the landing wasn't bad. I uh, touched the rear wheels down first and then I was able to drop the nose, so that was kind of nice. Uh, I wasn't straight on on the runway. Uh, that's something I'm having a problem with, and I notice sometimes that the landing pattern doesn't include a little bit of a turn at the last moment to get to the runway, so I have to take that into consideration. Alright, we're going well, doing a good job here speed-wise. Alright, so we are supposedly in New Orleans. I don't know if this is one of the hand-built airports, I think it isn't. It looks like just kind of a default airport. Alright, there's our parking spot over there. Speed is good on idling engines. I feel like this is a little bit of uphill climb or dropping, so let's give it some air. So far, so good. Let's turn into the docking bay. Alright, looks like we're straight now. Still saying go towards the right. And stop. Alright, I don't know what one stick means. But uh, I think we're good. Let's shut off the engines. Sixty-nine. That sounds like a nice temperature for New Orleans. 
<clears throat> All right, turn off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.